Welcome to Harford County Living. I'm Rich Bennett, along with now our co-host Sarah Coleman. And our guest this week is actually Dennis Wahlberger, owner of the Maryland Computer Store right here in the Joppa Town Plaza. Um, and he's going to talk to us about the store just opened up March 1st, right? March 1st. Okay. Uh, and he also recycles all kinds of stuff. And I'll let him explain to you about what everything goes to because I think it's an excellent idea that he's doing so how you doing dennis i'm doing good rich thank you good. for having me how you doing sarah i'm good rich i've seen you in a few months i know good to be back so dennis go ahead and tell us about maryland computer store how you got into it um and then i'm going to bring up well you know how everything went but go ahead <laughs> thank you rich well uh many years ago i i was trained as a, a software writer and i was uh, uh i was working on a project for the university of maryland and it, w it was a, a big project. And I, I knew a, a bit about hardware and I knew a, a good bit about software, but uh, to be honest with you, I knew what I knew, okay? Right. And that was with uh, writing programs and writing code and, and, and that type of thing. And uh, one day in 2006, I got a virus on my laptop. And That's I, never fun. No, it's not <laughs> fun. And it's, and it's frightening, okay? Yeah. Especially yeah. if you don't have any experience with viruses. So I took my laptop to Best Buy, which is where, oh. where I, yeah, I know, that's where I'm going. Geek Squad. I took it to the Geek Squad, because I had just bought my laptop about a year before. Right. And um, it was, uh, I thought it was still under warranty, so I took it to the Geek Squad, and I, I told them, I said, I have this virus, you know, can you guys get rid of it? And they're, they're, absolutely, we can get rid of it. So they took my laptop, and a couple of days later, I got my laptop back, and they completely wiped my hard drive. <laughs> they had taken, uh, taken off all my pictures, they had taken off all my music, um, my whole project that I was working on, okay, oh, I lost everything, and I was absolutely livid. And I, talk, I you know, I, I, was, I was shouting at the, the, the tech that was there, and I was shouting at the manager, and the manager said, that's the way we do it. You know, they, we get rid of viruses, we just wipe your hard drive and start over. And I So said, they didn't tell you this in advance? They did not tell me that in advance. Lovely. They didn't back up any of my items. Now, fortunately, I had some of my pictures on, on a, another computer that right. I had been using. But my lo I, I lost all my program. So they basically didn't get rid of your virus. What they did was re-image your whole hard drive. That's exactly what they did. I'm and pretty sure I, I could have figured out how to do that. Yeah. Like uh, well, that I I found out I, and from after I calmed down a little bit, talking to the manager, he said that's the way we do it. Okay, that that's how we get rid of viruses. We just you know we wipe your hard drive. You're responsible for backing up your material. And I said to myself, that is not. That cannot be a good business model. No. So I, I started talking, to, and in 2006, early 2007, there weren't a lot of computer shops around. People depended on places like the Geek Squad. Yep. Right. So I, I talked, I, I made phone calls all over the country and found out that's the way people do it. That's how they remove viruses. They just wipe your hard drive, okay? No, you were, in, so in some places. It's got to be. I was going to say that virus has got to be really deep in there into the root. I mean, every for them to completely. Well, and I'm gonna only know this from experience because I was in the IT field for years, and we always found the best way to get. If you got a virus, take the hard drive out, plug it into a, a or, you know, hook it up to a computer via USB and run the virus scan that way. Well, you would think that that would be the, uh, one of the ways to do right. it, okay? Um, but back in the middle 2000s, the, well, the yeah. process, that was their process. Right. And I, I began to understand the reason why they're doing this this way is because it's faster. They can just yeah. wipe your drive, put a new image on, and then you're, and give it back to you. And they can do that in a couple of hours. That's, yeah, okay? that's true. Um, they don't take the time to understand you as a customer. Right, and they did not take the time to even consider my data or you know any of the projects that I was working on or anything like that. So I said to myself, mm. "There's got to be a better way." So I began in 2000, early 2007, learning everything I could about viruses, the way they work, you know, how they operate, where they come from, how they get on your computer, and I developed a proprietary system to remove viruses without even touching the data. Mm. And uh, we, we have a, a, a nearly a 100% success rate. Wow. Okay? And so uh, I, I started doing, remo doing virus removal on my kitchen table. Um, I was living in Pennsylvania, and I, I started on my kitchen table removing viruses. I put up a couple of signs and put a couple of notices in the local paper. And before I knew it, I was doing 10 jobs a day. Wow. And, <laughs> and people came to me because they knew, first of all, okay, I would protect their data you know, at, at all costs. 
And I never looked at their items. I never looked at their pictures. I never looked at their documents. I never looked at any of their tax returns. You didn't need to. You, you kept their information private. I'm exactly. sure that's yeah. really appreciated. Th exactly. But uh, think about it, okay? When you hand your laptop or your computer over to someplace that you don't know, okay, you have no idea who's working there exactly. or who's, right. behind the, who's behind the curtain, okay? You have no idea whether they're going through your information looking for com uh, credit card numbers, bank account information, passwords. You don't know that. Right. Okay? And it's, it's a scary thought. Not only the, 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 the idea that you may lose your data, but that you may lose everything that you've worked for, okay, by handing your computer a laptop. So I built that trust. I built that trust with the community, and uh, I, I, I became very successful at, That's at, good. at that. I had the opportunity. I, I, I met a girl, and, and we, we decided to get married and move to Joppa Town, and uh, I decided to carry that business over here to... Uh, to the Joppa Town area. So I opened, I started working on Maryland Computer Store in December. We opened officially on March the 1st, and we've been extremely successful. Good. We've already built that reputation in the community, okay, that you can bring your items to us and, and you can trust us. Uh, I have uh, several excellent technicians working for me, and they all sign a confidentiality agreement. Oh, that's they, good. They, yeah. They, they, they Anybody can look at the confidentiality agreement that they have signed, that they will not go into your data, they will not look at your pictures, they will not look at your information, and we will strive to save every piece of data that's on your computer. Guarantee you other places don't do that. I will guarantee I mean, you look at them big chains, how many, I mean, they're, because you get the texts are like a revolving door. That's right. You know, yeah, and you never know who's looking. You're right. You never know who's looking at your computer. And identity theft is a big thing. It's a huge thing, and there's a uh, there's a huge market on the in the underground for you know uh, credit card numbers yeah. and uh, passwords and bank account uh, account information. It's a, it's a crazy world out there. It's a cr these people that are writing these viruses are are insane. Okay, I believe. Okay, yeah, and do they get jobs at the federal government sometimes? <laughs> Yes. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> the federal government's hiring them. Here, here's my resume. Yeah, remember Mr. IRS when you couldn't do this? <laughs> right. That's right. Wow. I'm glad to hear that you that the store is going very well because I know um, when you when it was first posted that you were opening up, unfortunately you get a lot of people out there that are negative mm -hmm. and they feel just because you're in the shopping center that Cordish owns that you would fail. Uh, and of course I was one of the first ones to yell out there, you know, Give give you know give them a chance. You know, you don't know these people don't know what's going on, but you're getting the support, which is big. Uh, and I'm just I'm happy to hear that you're actually getting the support. Now maybe we'll get more people from the county, even Baltimore County, and everywhere else coming in, especially with what you're doing with the viruses. That's right. Well, I think because you, that's a big thing. I mean, what's your other option? Best Buy. I mean, I don't I don't I have no yeah, idea if there's computer places around. I I am fortunate enough. That my brother-in-law does all of my computer stuff. Right. He lives in Frederick. If, if I didn't have him doing it, uh, I have no idea. Yeah. And I have no idea what I would what I would do, you know, because obviously Best Buy would not be where I would want to go. But that's right. So it's, I think it's great that there's somebody, no matter where you're located, I think it's great what, yeah. you're, what you're doing. And, and well, the other thing is, too, because I, there, are, there are a lot of people out there to say they'll do it. Um, but they, I guarantee you they're not doing it like Dennis is. No. You know, with the proprietary system Oh, yeah, that's that. a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I told you the way I did it, and that still took some time. It does. Because you're scanning mm -hmm. everything, and that could take several hours, sometimes even over a day, depending on the hard drive. That's yep. right. And, and there, are, there, there are cases we like to turn, we, we can turn our, our, our virus removals around. And don't get me wrong, we do more than virus removal. Right. But we can turn our virus removal around in less than 24 hours. Oh, wow. uh, because the, the system that we've developed, we, we, we don't even go into the operating system to begin with. We go into the code, and we know where these viruses live, and I teach my guys this. Oh, and, interesting. And it's one of the things, Sarah, that, that you know, uh, you're absolutely right. There are a lot of uh, people who think that they, they understand how viruses work or how computers work or how to repair a laptop until you take it to them and you get it back and it's wrong. Uh, there are uh, the very first question that someone should ask before they go, uh, they hand over their item is, are you certified 
in right. his, in, in this process. That's a big deal. That's a yeah, big deal. It, it is a it's a huge deal. Okay, I am I, I'm certified. I, I've been Dell HP certified since 2007. That's when I started doing this. My guys, I, I sign up certification classes for all of my techs. They come to me. Okay, I only hire side of certified people. Right. But they continue their education. Okay, they they continue their certifications. Uh, they're required to do that. Okay. Well, uh, that's the thing with computers. The, the education's ongoing. That's exactly right. It <laughs> changes almost daily, doesn't uh, that's it? That's exactly I feel right. Like? That's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's one of the things I'm. When I first got into the business, I got into it back in '98, and. First, so the computer the, was the size of this table. <laughs> Actually, funny you say that, yeah, because <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I mean, we were—I was doing computers while well, I wanted to get onto the hardware end, and there was a guy there that was a printer god. I mean, he knew these things inside and out, so I wanted to learn how to fix them. No techni technicians hated working on printers because they would get their hands dirty. You know, mm. I used to work on my own car. I used to love getting my hands dirty. Mm -hmm. So this guy, and I'll never forget, Dan Jolly, great guy. He uh, took, remember the five SIs? Yes. Huge printer. He took it completely apart. When I say completely apart, I mean down to the bare frame. He said, all right, Rich, I'll be back in an hour, make sure it's back together and work. And I'm like, what? <laughs> he said, you watch me take it apart, now put it back together. And that's how I learned. Yeah, you know, but, and it was after that, that I, I mean, all kinds of printers I would work on, but that was the first thing the company said. I, was, I worked for uh, Intercom Information Systems at the time. And they said, we want you to get HP certified, because that was the biggest printers back then, HP yeah. and um, Lexmark. Um, and I loved it, even the inkjets, because back then you could get parts for inkjets. Right. Now, yeah. you just replace it. They're disposable. So, um, now tell me something, because you also sell computers. We do. We, we are uh, Microsoft certified refurbishers, uh, so we uh, bring a lot of uh, equipment, computers, laptops, tablets, uh, in from wholesalers. And uh, we get them, they don't have any hard drives, and right. the laptops don't have any batteries, uh, you know, so we take those the, those items, the computer, laptop, whatever, uh, we take it back to the original specs. Okay. Um, we install new hard drives, in laptops we put brand new batteries, uh, we put uh, licensed operating systems. In most cases we, we install as an added bonus, we put Microsoft Office on each one of our machines, oh, and wow. a lifetime uh, antivirus program. Okay, the, the Microsoft certified product. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say lifetime? Lifetime of the computer. That's right. You don't ever have to pay for it. And uh, and we put those. Wow. We, we, some of them we ship back to the wholesalers. Okay? Right. Uh, but some of them we put out on our shelves, and uh, all of the items that we have, they're they're um, they're certified. Okay, they're they're back to working as if you were just bought them off the shelves. Now some of these may be a year and a half, two years old, some of them a little bit older, but we sell quality products. Right. You don't put the junk out, okay? And um, we stand behind every every item that we put out on our shelves. Now I was gonna ask you if, there, if you put a warranty on them. We do a 60 day warranty, okay? But the thing most, is, uh, most places are only 30 days, you right. do 60? <laughs> we do 60 days, but the thing of it is too, we're not, you know where we are, right. okay? We're not a, a, a stand in the flea market. Not, anything, not there's anything wrong with that. So, <laughs> but you it's can not. But you would us. hope that you can access your computer guy all the time, not That's Thursday right. through uh, Saturday. I was just so. going to say that. <laughs> right. and, it, and to us, it's, it's, it's just good business, okay? Right. Because I'm, I'm not going to sell you something that's you know going to break down in a couple of months. That's bad business, right? Okay. Now I can't guarantee that it's going to last you for five or six years, but it very well. Could and the way that we put them back together, they, they they should last a good long time. But the prices are incredibly affordable. Oh, okay. yeah. I think when I went into the store for the first time, I don't think I saw anything over $200. Um, we have a couple. Maybe of, a couple. But we have a couple of higher end now that are, that are in there because we've had... Uh, we had a great deal of success when we first opened selling the, the uh, mid-range and, and the lower priced uh, uh, laptops and PCs. But we have people that want, want it more. They want right. bigger hard drives. They want it faster processors and, and more RAM. So we have those items out on the shelf now. A lot and cheaper to do it that way oh than get gosh. a new one. Oh my gosh. We, I, we just put out a, um, a Dell Optiplex just this morning. Um, 750 gig hard drive, 
uh, six gigs of RAM. Okay, and I. Th- I'm sorry, how much memory? Uh, six gig gigs. Oh, six. Uh, six. Uh, okay, I thought you yeah. said sixty at first. No, six. <laughs> wow. And <laughs> it's, it's, remember everything from now until forever. <laughs> and it's got an. Uh, it has an i uh, an i three or an i five processor. Okay, and it, it it's priced less than you can buy a low end PC off of the shelf. Really? Absolutely. And this is this is a quality Dell item. Wow. Hmm. And we're going to get these more and more frequently now. That's good. Yeah. So, I, I, and you're right with the little computer stands or whatever, going somewhere, and then if they have problems with it, they can bring it right there. You're open, what, you're, are you open seven days a week? We're open six days. Six days, okay. Six days a week. Uh, we're, we're closed on Sunday because my wife said I need a day off. But to Makes sense. Honest, yeah, but to be honest with you, I've been in there for mo- most Sundays. Right. Um, and we, we've done a, a good deal of business, usually just for a few hours. But uh, uh, we may consider uh, doing Sundays by appointment. Right. Okay. Um, we have some other items that we want to add to our business, and we may actually do them on Sundays. But that that's a little bit down the road yet. Now, did I hear you correctly? You sell tablets as well? We, we refurbish tablets. Oh, okay. Uh, we, we repair tablets. Okay. Uh, the... We do sell them occasionally, the, the, uh, but we sell them at such a low price that they don't last very long. I right. don't think we have any in our store right now, but that changes every day. Okay. Now, are you st- strictly PC or Apple as well? We do uh, uh, PC and Apple, okay, and, we, and we're doing Androids as well. Really? Yes, and hmm. Chromebooks, okay, which are, are popular. So um, you're doing anything that basically has a system on it? Essentially. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's good. That's right. <laughs> and you also do something um, special for people that have, like me, and I, my wife's been getting on me about this, and I already told you I have to come see you. But somebody that has an old computer, old tablet, old printer, whatever, can what can they do? Absolutely. In, in the state of Maryland, it's illegal to put uh, uh, electronics uh, in your trash. Right. Okay. Um, you can't just put your television out. You can't put your uh, your computer out for, at, at the curb. You used to be able to do that. Well, that explains why I have tap, uh, laptops building up in my office. Okay. <laughs> well, guess what? Now good, you have something good you can to do know. With them. <laughs> right. So I, I, when I was back in Pennsylvania, we started a, a recycling program, uh, an electronics recycling <laughs> program, and we uh, deal with a, a green recycler uh, up in Pennsylvania. So uh, what we do is we take uh, all of the, and, and as a computer store and a computer shop, uh, a computer service, we have lots and lots of parts, okay, right. that, you know, uh, you know, old parts, you, you, dead hard drives, that kind of thing. And this, uh, I found several years ago that, you know, you need some place to dispose of this stuff. So I, I uh, got together with a green recycler in Pennsylvania and uh, I started uh, don- you know, giving, giving him my stuff, and he was writing me a check, okay? And I'm like, well, I don't really want a check for this, but I'll take it. And uh, I guess probably four years ago, we started donating that money to a local charity, okay, in Pennsylvania. And uh, th- we had raised over the, uh, you know, over the couple of years, we had raised a lot of money for this charity right. with, with recycling. And I found people were just bringing us stuff, okay, bringing... Uh, their, their old computers and their, their old laptops and their printers and that kind of stuff to me. So I started, I, I, I said to myself, well, this is a good opportunity to keep this stuff out of landfills, keep it out of the, 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 the trash, uh, everyday trash, since you couldn't put it out for the curve anyway. Right. And do something good for, uh, for a charity or an organization. And I, I happened to go to a dinner, I guess it was probably about two and a half years ago, and one of the, the, there was two speakers there, and one of them was from the, the Wounded Warrior Project. Mm. And um, I was just so touched by what this program was doing. I, I knew very little about it at, at that time. And they had one of the, 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 um, uh, the, the servicemen who was benefiting from this program who also spoke, okay, and was, was talking about how uh, the, if it wasn't for this program, he'd have been lost in life. Okay, and you know they had wow. provided him so much, and and it wasn't just the the physical uh, disabilities he had gone through; it was the it was the, the, the mental, mental disabilities, okay, yeah. disabilities. And the Wounded Warrior Project was just uh, above and beyond anything that he'd ever expected, and it really touched me. Right. Okay. So I I, I did some investigation, found out about this Wounded Warrior Project, and, and uh, got together with them, and uh, really started doing the, the electronics recycling to benefit the Wounded Warriors. 
So I carried it over to uh, the Maryland Computer Store. And we do a, a sep uh, six days a week. You can bring your old electronics, uh, your old laptops, computers, printers, basically anything with, an, uh, with a plug, okay? We take, we, we take vacuum cleaners, we take uh, blenders, wow. uh, toasters, <laughs> anything with a plug with uh, just two exceptions. We, we are not in a position where we can take televisions or CRT monitors. Those are those old big uh, Okay, the old monitors. tube televisions. Uh, tube televisions or the CRT, CRT okay. monitors. Uh, but we can take anything else, okay? Um, and what we do is we ship it all to the, this green recycler up in Pennsylvania. He writes us a check, and we immediately sign that check over to the Wounded Warrior Project. That is awesome. So That's we great. don't make a dime off of it. We are essentially uh, the kind of the middleman right. okay, for, these, uh, for these items. And it benefits everyone. Okay, um, if, if in the long run it benefits the Wounded Warrior Project because they are getting a, a contribution on these items. Um, it benefits the, uh, the, the environment because these items don't land up, end up in a landfill. Okay, they are, re they are taken apart. The, every piece that, that is, goes to this recycler goes to some type of uh, additional recycling program, be it plastic or, or copper right. or uh, the, the boards, they're, they're, they're all the recycled. And all that, yeah. and it's, all, it's all recycled somehow. Uh, he has a huge warehouse up in Pennsylvania. Wow, that is and, awesome. Um, and we benefit because we get, we bring more customers into our store. Right. Okay. Even if it's just for a few moments, they, they at least they know that we're there, and uh, you know maybe while we're there, they'll they'll learn about our services, they'll learn about our products, and uh, and still do some some some. That is great. Yeah, that's uh, great. The um, now with the computers, now I already knew the answer, but this way you could tell everybody. Sure. Because there are some people that don't know how to take their computers apart right. but they may be leery about bringing it because they have stuff on their hard drive that's right or there are people that know how to take their computers apart that want to take like keep the hard drives or video cards or whatever and get rid of the rest that's so right. can they do that as that's well an, that's an excellent question uh we when we receive uh, old computers and laptops okay we go through um an initial cleaning process okay we take the hard drives out we immediately plop them into, we have uh, these external uh, drives, we immediately plop them into these drives, and we run a, a program that deletes all the items off of the, these hard drives to the seventh level, okay? So okay. it does seven passes, okay, to, to uh, uh, delete these hard drives. These hard drives then go into a box, okay? And the box goes to the, uh, the electronics recycler, okay, the green recycler, and they go into shredders, okay? So we, Run, we wow. run the process first, okay? Now remember, we have all signed confidentiality agreements. Right. So we're not going to look at any of that data anyway. So it's, they're erased before they even go to the recycler, okay? They go to the recycler, and he just immediately puts them into a shredder. And That's got to be a big it, shredder. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. it's, it, it's actually, when, when I go to visit him, it's one of the, the, my favorite things is because sometimes he lets me put them in the shredder. Oh, man. It's, uh, it, it is very cool. I mean, in an instant, these things are obliterated into it. Wow. into a thousand pieces and they're, they're very very cool so uh, the customer doesn't have to worry about uh the data that's still on the on those drives because no one will ever see it that is great that's right and, and explain to everybody again where you're at where you're okay. located at and phone number website and all that we're located in the joppa town plaza shopping center uh we're at 1014 joppa farm road we are uh let's see three uh, three stores Two stores down from the dollar store, okay, in, okay. That, in the little plaza next to where the flea market is. We have huge signs up there; you can't see, you can't miss us. Um, our phone number is four one zero six seven nine six thousand. We're easy open, to remember. It is easy to remember, <laughs> and we're open Monday through Friday, uh, nine a.m. to seven p.m. Uh, most most days we're there at eight a.m. So if you <laughs> happen to want to stop by before work right. and drop your computer off, oh, that's good. Uh, we're, we are there, and then we're open on Saturdays. We have Saturday hours from nine a.m. to three p.m. And, and real quick, uh, I know uh, people are probably hearing the background noise, and I forgot to mention this. We are actually recording from Town Grill and Pub, which is also in the Java Town Plaza. So I want to thank Larry, Linda, and Brad for allowing us to do that. And I'm just happy that Megan hasn't come in here and give us a hard time yet. So <laughs> Megan's a good girl. Uh, yeah, she is. But that, that's great because that's something that you need a local computer store. There are too many people. And I, I said this before, when I used to do stuff for senior citizens, I would tell them to bring their stuff to me, I would fix it, for, because they were taken to the other place, 
um, I'll just say to the geek squad. And they, for some reason, people think that if they're retired and they're seniors, they have a lot of money. That's right. And that's not true. That is not true. No, and that's were, not what I face yeah. in our business. Well, so that's but I mean, I think Geek Squad was charging, and I may be wrong, but I think they were starting at like 160 an hour. That, that's right. And and one of the things about the Geek Squad too is they they charge a diagnostic fee. Okay, you hand your computer over to them. I don't know what it is, fifty, sixty dollars. Okay, just to diagnose it. Uh, we don't charge a diagnostic fee. Right. Our diagnostics is free. We will let you know for free what is wrong with your computer before we even uh, attempt any repairs. So um, that way, as, as a customer, you know going in what you're going to spend. Right. Okay. Before you've even spent anything. Okay. Um, and we, the, the customers have, our, our customers have learned to trust us because Good. we're not going to recommend anything that you don't need. Right. And especially when it comes to senior citizens. You know, I, I, I know how, uh, I know my parents, you know, or, you know, they're, they're older on a fixed income now. Okay. They're retired. And, and I, I use my parents as an example. Okay. I, I, I wouldn't want my parents to take their computer into someone, first of all, that they don't trust. Right. And second of all, they were going to hand over money and then, the, the, you know, a couple of hours later, they're going to hand it back to them and say, oh, your computer's broken, but we're keeping your $50. That's uh, that's just yeah. that's that's wrong wrong business. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we respect that. Good. But you know, Rich, one of the things that I, I did want to talk about today, and you mentioned senior citizens, and this this is really what uh, has has been bothering me lately, is are these phone scams? Okay. Oh. You got, you get these 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 people that call you. I'm glad you brought this up. Me too. <laughs> well, I have something to say about that too. <laughs> well, uh, good because I, I think that the the more we talk about it and the more we get the word out there. And, and let's let's talk about what. Let, let me explain what I'm talking about. Right. You get these phone calls. Okay. You know, in any time of the day, and somebody on the other line, they say they're they're from the they're from Windows or they're from Microsoft. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have reported that there's a uh, there's your your computer is sending signals to our our servers, okay, and it, it looks like that you have a virus and we need to take care of this right away. And they want you to go to your computer, they ask you to run this process, and it shows that you have errors on your computer. And before you know it, you're on a website giving these, the, this caller inf the, the allowance to get on your computer right. and make changes. And they run a couple of processes and it scare you the whole time. When, you know, you have to take care of this right now. You have to get this done right now. And then they ask you for your credit card information because they tell you it's going to cost $299, yeah. $399. I had a lady just a couple of weeks ago. She paid $499. Shh. Okay. But what she didn't – and they make it sound so real. Okay. They make this, the, the, this scam sound so real that you believe it. They have socially engineered you into believing that there is really something wrong with your computer and you need to take care of it right now. But the truth is there is nothing wrong with your computer. Okay, that they are finding, they are just out to get your money. Exactly. They are looking, to, going to, first of all, they're going to take the $399 and the $499 or put it on your credit card, but you've just given them your credit card number because as soon as you get off the phone, they put your credit card number up for sale on the black market. And before you know it, you have all these other charges that you know, maybe you're, you're responsible for, maybe you're not. But the thing of it is, while they're on the phone with you and while they have control of your computer, they are putting software on your computer to track everything that you do. Right. Okay, they're putting key loggers on there and they're putting screenshot savers on your computer so that as soon as you log into your bank account or log in with another credit card or, or you know, even send a, a, a picture on Facebook, that is being sent to these servers so these hackers know everything that you were doing. And it's, it, it, it's an incredible... That's really scary. It, it, it is. is. It's incredibly scary. And, and the thing of it is, I have people that walk, uh, they come into our store and, and they, they say there's something wrong with their computer and there can't be something wrong with their computer because they just paid Microsoft $399 oh. to fix it. So pe people are falling for this, and they don't even know that they're falling for a scam. Right. You okay. know, and these people are really persistent because I actually did have... What someone called me from Microsoft, told me that they had detected some something activity. I don't remember exactly right. what he said on my computer, and knowing that 
I don't know enough about my computer and I don't do anything with my computer. I said, you know what? My brother-in-law handles all of my computer stuff, so I thank you for calling. I will I'll give him a call real quick and I'll have him log in and, and take care of it. And I hung up. Do you know they, they call called back. me? No, no. <laughs> they, they didn't just call one time. They <laughs> called me six or seven times over the next two weeks. I, I didn't answer because I recognized the number. So finally, the last time, I had my husband answer because I'm like, I really need these people to stop calling because I, I don't really understand how much clearer I, I can right. be here. I mean, you are really, really desperate to win this scam over on me, I think. So my husband answered the phone and said that he was from the city morgue and then told the guy he and said, said what he was from the city morgue oh, and then he had reached the city morgue and he <laughs> said it said had some little catchphrase something and um and i just heard him tell, tell the guy that he's like look man he's like i don't know what you're calling for but unless you have a body for me to come and pick up i i don't I, I don't Chris is like me. He likes messing with the people. Yes. <laughs> and, well, you know, I've never received a phone call back again, so. I, I found two things. Well, I'll have to try Chris's idea next. But two things, it seems like they'll hang up right away. First of all, I say, well, how can that be? Because I have an Apple computer. That's right. They hang up. Or I'll say, I'm oh. run, or I'm running Linux. And right. they hang up. Right. <laughs> well, one of the things that, that, that you have to you but have we to know think to yourself. We do know, okay. Yeah. But the first thing that you have to think to yourself is, they're calling you on your cell phone or your house phone. How do they know that there's an? How do they put the phone number together with the computer? Right. Okay. The, one has nothing to do with the other. Okay. And so there, these people are just cold calling. Okay. And I, talking to a lot of people, and I've seen this so much in the last couple of months that everybody in this area is getting these phone calls daily. Mm -hmm. uh, but all it takes is one time. Yeah. Okay. For you, for, for you don't know that it's a scam. Okay. And so you, you give them this, this information. You allow them access to your computer. Uh, you you fall into that trap. And I will guarantee that every person that I've spoken to who's come through my doors that has a virus on their computer ha that has spoken to these people. The virus came the day the moment that they get, oh, they, yeah. they handed over access to their computer. So if you if you if you're out there and you're listening and you you have fallen for this and you, you're just realizing now that you've fallen for it, the first thing you need to do is contact your bank. Okay, tell them that and the banks are very aware of this scam. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to my my banker at uh, Bank of America and they are absolutely aware of this. Okay, to, to stop payment on that on that payment whether it was today, yesterday, last week, or last month. That yeah, because they'll keep it. taking money out. They will. Once they have it. They will. And look for any suspicious activity on your credit card or wh whatever inf information you gave them. Look for suspicious activity. Look on your statements. Look online. Well, maybe don't look online. Right. Okay. <laughs> Unless you go to the library or something. That's, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, you go know, to the look, bank. Look on, your cell, look on your cell phone or, yeah. or some other access. Not on the computer that, you've, that you, you're that you used to using. Right. And whether you bring it to us or you bring it to someone, take it somewhere so it can be cleaned. Because I will guarantee that if you've fallen for this, you have spyware, malware, viruses on your computer, and they are watching you. And they, oh, are, yeah. they, are, they know everything that you're doing. And, and the thing is, the, a lot of times the federal government can't do anything about it because they're calling from another country. That's right. And, and you know, which is a sad thing because a lot of people say, well, give me your information and I'll call you back. It ain't gonna do any good. That's and you right. call them back, and you can't get through anyways. That's right. They, you know these the, these scammers. They they have huge call centers. You yeah. know, in you know mostly sometimes in Russia, sometimes in India, and they're they're just Which dialing numbers. Which boggles my mind, by the way, because how many people are you really able to to get to come work for you to call people to take their money? Uh, you, well, you know, like, in the you different know what countries, I mean? like, you'd I, be surprised. Yeah, I yeah. just don't. I, I just can't think of like how I would even advertise for said position. You know what I mean? Like, they're all for bonuses and everything. That's right. You know, yeah. they probably they probably look at it this way. Okay, in you know India or the, where, you know, it's the average income is probably five or ten dollars a day. The, you know, they're they're getting these kids and the, and these and adults, and saying you know we'll give you fifty dollars right. for each. Each, you know, one each person that you can scam into doing this. 
they're going to have a line out the door of people that are ready yeah. to do Well, this. that's true. That's okay. true. And I mean, my call came from California. Well, so it says. So it says. Yeah. You know, so I don't actually really know. And well, I didn't talk to the guy long enough to, like, detect any kind of See, and that's the other anything. thing, too, because somehow or another they're able to, I don't, I don't, want to, I don't know the proper term, whether it's seeding from their actual phone number into a phone number that looks like it's coming from somewhere in the states. Yeah, that's, that's right. true. Or from your own. I, I had this. I had one. It, it was. I looked at the caller ID. It was my own number. Oh, it was your own number. Yes. Oh, I've had like four, four, three numbers, and they've been from like yeah, Midwest no, somewhere. Yeah, one was from my own number. I'm like, wait a minute, how am well, I? Well, they planned that poorly, you would, didn't they? You would get a busy signal. Yeah, you, know, you call your own number. That's right. And, and that one really threw me off. But you get the same thing. I mean, I get the same thing with the email. So I'll get an email from myself. Uh, no, that ain't right. <laughs> so, right. oh, yeah, there's – it just – it boggles my mind the way these guys do this. So, well, Dennis, I want to thank you, and I wish you, you know, the, the success with the store and everything because I think it's great what you're doing. Thank you, Rich. Um, and the other thing, too, it, it's you're local. That's the important thing. You're not a chain. You know, you, well, Sarah, tell you, my big thing is support local businesses. So this way people can bring it to you. You're local. They know where you're at. They know you're not going anywhere. You actually know the owner. So there you go, people. Bring it down to the Maryland Computer Store. Uh, Sarah. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm, I'm good. Tell us what's new with Four Seasons Nursery and Landscape Services. Well, we have a lot new, actually, since the last time I talked to you. Um, somehow crazy busy this spring like spring started early this year yeah I get, now winter's back <laughs> no no <laughs> hardly but we didn't have much of a winter like we had right. that one big storm and then two little ones yeah, or something like cute. that but we had a really warm winter so the end of february people are already like okay well i need to have landscaping stuff done so we compared jobs and, and sales and stuff to last march and we did not have half the business last year, you know, picked up really like in right. April and May time frame. But um, we've been consistently slammed for the past two months for, That's good. for sure. And there's no sign of stopping at this point. And um, so we've hired a bunch of new guys that, so we have full landscape company running separate and a full mowing company, er, company, <laughs> mowing crew. Um, so they're, you know, they're out doing the, the mowing five days a week, landscaping five days a week. We really do try and give our guys the, the weekends off, but right. Yeah, so depending sometimes on sometimes you can't. Depending on the weather. No, sometimes you can't. Right. If you're off on Wednesday and Thursday because of rain and like torrential downpour, like right. we don't give them <clears> off for drizzle, but <laughs> then you have to figure Saturday and Sunday you have to make up for it, right? So, <clears throat> um, so yeah. So we're hiring a bunch more people, considering hiring somebody to do sales because, um, you know, Chris and I, we, we work in the office yeah. seven days a week, six days a week for sure, um, it, and for hours, I mean, 12 hours at a, at a clip sometimes. You know, and we're, we're wearing, you know, 10 different hats a piece yeah. and trying to, trying to work together and figure out how to get this all going. And, you know, we finally decided, like, we – we need to take some of these off enjoy life and give them <laughs> to someone else you know give them somebody else we we read a book um i can't for the life of me remember what it was called but the whole thing with the book was you need to work on your business not in your business mm -hmm. well for the last three years we've been working in our business because there isn't anybody else to work in it right you know it was it was us and then the guys outside um so we just we seem to be growing and and committing to continue to grow so you know we wear these 10 different hats and we don't have we we do hardly any marketing like we advertise with you right. we advertise with um a, another <clears throat> online published um newspaper um out of the city um and oh there's a um through apg we advertise as well Okay. But but we're not act out there actively advertising. We're right. not doing any of the cold calling or anything like that. Um, we are not out there searching for business, which we should be. So but that's, that's like something person. else on on your plate, you know. Right. Um, and I I love dealing with our with our customers and clients or you know whatever you want to call them. But um, you know we really do need someone who's going to go out there and, and do the advertising, the marketing, the 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 cold calling right. and that kind of stuff um, really get us out there. So it's we'll hard. To, it's hard to do all that by yourself. 
Yeah, it is. I mean, it really is. And, and you know, I, I have all these goals and things that we want to do, you know, for the business, but, you know, I just keep writing them down. And well, it's you like, guys are doing the fountains and everything else too, right? Oh yeah, are you and still selling them? Yep, we have. Yeah, we have fountains and you, that you can ins- um, some that hang on the wall, like or hang on your deck or whatever. You know, you can uh, hang okay. on your deck. Um, but then you have ones you put out in your garden and that kind of stuff. And then you know, pavers, paving walls, patios, fire pits, like that's all real big right now. And actually, we have a um, deal for that on the website right now. So you can go to the oh, website. Okay and see what the deal is and then you can contact us and you know make sure you mention it obviously but right. um yeah so it's a lot of and we've we've really picked up in the landscape design piece oh, so that's good. well so i'm not a cad person like i i don't know how any of that works right. I, my, that's not how my brain works <laughs> at all but i can take a picture of your house and and put pretty plants in it so that you can see the potential in your house like the you know i can't even do that you know that you can see well, I like this plant, that plant, whatever. I want to see what it looks like together, what it's going to look like in front of my house. Um, so I do that a lot. Um, I mean, it's a time-consuming process, but and I, but I like it. Right. And it's it's kind of funny because Chris is the one that goes and does our estimates, and he talks to people, and he could sell chewing gum to people with lockjaw. You know, like he can sell anything. But so then he comes home and he's like, you know, here's the estimate, and here's this and that and whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, what kind of plants do they like? They don't know. <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, I could make like thousands of pictures, right? I mean, I could just change one plan, you know, it changes the whole look of things. So, I've limited myself to three, three mar- uh, mock-ups. So then, you know, if you like anything, you want to change things around, you want to combine stuff, you can do that. But, um, you know, and and we don't charge for that. So right. there are a lot of companies we, you know, we do belong to. We are, um, we belong to the national. Association of Landscape Professionals. So we have certain standards and certifications and things that we have to maintain to belong. Always like to you're certified, like with dentists. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. We have a ton of certifications, um, and you know we have you know certain guidelines and things that we have to uh, abide by. But anyway, point is that there are a bunch of companies that that charge for their landscape mock, you know, their mock-ups, you know, and that price comes off of your. Uh, your invoice right. if you agree to go along with the job but the area that we're in you know that's not really something that I would think would appeal to um, a lot of our customers because it's kind of they don't want to have to pay for anything up front you know and we right. do free estimates but I don't want to so I you know I do a couple and we see how it goes and you ever get have you been to their website Dennis no. oh you ever get a chance to go to their website and look at some of the work they've done amazing my, my, of course, you know we keep talking about how we need to do our backyard. Ever since I got or got rid of our pool, and uh, told my wife, I said, "Well, when it's time, I know who to call already." So yes, Sarah, worry <laughs> about it. What's your web- website? Uh, it's um, Four Seasons Landscape MD dot com. I thought you were going to say Four Seasons Landscape and Nursery. I was going to say I was going to correct you this time. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you know what? I have to think. No, because the email and the website both match. So right. I, that I that I have down, but. Um, yeah, so, you know, and we, as far as our, like, patios and fire pits and your landscape um, walls and that kind of stuff, um, you know, we follow the regulations that the National Association of Landscape Professionals and the ICPI folks that they set. Um, so I, I'll tell you up front, we're more expensive than a lot of companies out here doing doing the work. But you're professionals, too. Well, so, but we've also made a name for ourselves right. going back in and correcting things a couple of years later because the base ha- you haven't dug out far enough the base hasn't been set enough and so you have you know three to five years and you're looking at your patio that's around your pool or your walkway right. that goes you know wherever and it's settling and it's cracking and it's what it's whatever um so you know my my advice i'm not trying to sell or come to use us or don't but you know i my thing is just make sure that Whoever you have doing that kind of work for you, it, it's going to be done well. Right. And just because Correctly. it's the cheapest, that's cheapest not. Cheapest is not always the best. Correct. You, and I've always said you get what you pay for. Yep. And, Absolutely. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've had this. I had a lady not too long ago call, for my DJ business call me yelling at me 
we didn't DJ her wedding because she said we were too expensive. So she got another DJ. She called me up yelling at me because the DJ messed up their wedding. I said, well, it wasn't our DJ. Right. She said, well, it doesn't matter. You know, you, you could have done it. No, you said we were too to much. Right. I said, I told you you're going to get what you pay for. Right. So I, I, to this day, I still can't figure out why she had to call me and complain to me about another business. I don't <laughs> I don't know. People were out of their minds, so yeah. some of them are. Right. All right. And, well, and the other thing is, too, is that, you know, the way that I write our estimates is I break things down as much as I can. So if you're trying to re redo the whole outside right. of your house, you know, I'll break things down to the right side, the front, the left, the back, the whatever, so that you don't have to. You can still use us if we don't fit inside your budget. You don't have to do everything at one time. We we try and work the best we can in in everybody's budget um and the other thing is too is that we offer payment plans so you can put down a deposit and then you can pay oh, wow. uh okay. whatever you know we we agree upon it you know i want right. to know what works for you and then okay and then you can pay every you know every two weeks when you get paid or once a month or whatever so we really do try and work with you know everybody in the community because we, we get it you know like i have people that i have to hire to do things and, right. and whatever and i don't want to have to necessarily have to pay a huge bill all at one time if I don't have to. You and know? her business, like with yours, Dennis, they do a lot with charities, too. Um, plus, they hire veterans. There you go. Yes. Yeah, so that's one thing I've always liked about that. Being a veteran, you know, I just got to push that. So. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, I was a government contractor forever, so I dealt with people that were in the military on a daily basis. I have several friends that, you know, very good friends that are currently in the military, have been in the military. Um, it's it's a it's a big deal. I think that it's it's the military is as a whole is a group of people that do not get the recognition and appreciation that they right. should. And no, I can't hire somebody to come in, you know, at, at seventy five thousand dollars a year to do whatever. But I am absolutely willing to give anybody a job who can, you know, physically be out there doing it. And I, you know, and it's good to know that we can that we can do that. Right. Speaking of uh, veterans getting recognition, another group that doesn't get enough, uh, to me, enough recognition, the police officers and um, firefighters out there don't Pl get enough. Plenty of attention, but not enough plenty recognition. Plenty of attention, but not enough recognition. And I wanted to bring up something there is, of course, everybody knows about the two deputies that were killed here back on uh, February 10th. And uh, there's a um, law enforcement officer from uh, London, England, that's going to be taking part in the police unity ride, I believe it is, mm -hmm. where it's all the bicycles are driving. I think they start up in northern New Jersey, and I think they go down to D.C. Yeah, I think that's right. And there's a guy, he's riding for uh, Pat Daly, who was um, one of the um, deputies that was killed on February 10th. And they are going to be stopping at the Southern Precinct in Edgewood, I believe it's May 11th. Um, at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, May 11th, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, so if you can, get up there, show your support. And another thing, if you see them, and I think I blow some of their minds sometimes, because you know me, a lot of times I'm wearing my Marine Corps hat. Mm -hmm. And I see a firefighter, I see, and I go up and I thank them. They're like, huh? It, it just throws them off. But they don't hear it enough. Yeah, it's actually and, and funny that you say that because we we have our Harford County shirts yeah. on, right? <laughs> and I was in um, I was in Pikesville a couple weeks ago, and and a police officer came in, and I, I mean I just I just like the shirt, I, you know I wasn't really thinking about wearing, and he said I, I really like your shirt, and he walked past me before I had a chance to to say anything to right. him. So when I saw him again a few minutes later, I made sure I thanked him for his service, and you know. Yeah, I think it I think it really <laughs> blows him away because he don't hear it. I talked to, um, actually, a, a young lady yesterday who's going to be, she's already married, but they're actually going to be doing their wedding um, because they, they went to the courthouse and they went through a whole ceremony. Mm -hmm. So she called me up, and she's a firefighter. Her husband is a Harford County Sheriff's deputy. And she says, M you know, Mr. she calls me Mr. Richard. We're having problems trying to find DJs, venues, and all of this. We don't make a lot of going on. I said, you know what? So everything you guys do, don't worry about it. We got you covered. So I think I really threw her off. Oh, yeah, for sure. Proud, it, proud it was. And then, uh, 
Uh, even another, there's another venue where they can't really afford the venue, but that venue is doing everything they can to help them, whether it be tablecloths, you know, certain things. Um, just yeah, to we show offer, their appreciation. We offer military discounts too. Right. So it's don't hear it enough. We so. we also offer military discounts. You just did a big thing of military discounts, didn't you? We did. That's all I thought. Yeah. It's so, a, you know, we're very very proud that we can help uh, any way that we can. Yeah. Yep. And uh, uh, you're absolutely right, Rich and, and, and Sarah. They 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 don't get. Uh, the firefighters, uh, the police officers, they don't get recognized for the job that they do. It's extremely difficult. It is. I, I have my, my oldest son is a firefighter in Baltimore City. Oh, jeez. And my, my, my younger son uh, just signed on as a police officer in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So it's, uh, you know, I have two that are in the, the, the service industry. And it's, wow. Uh, uh, especially with Baltimore City, you know, as many many calls as those, those right. guys go out on, you know, you hear it on, on the radio or you hear that a, a firefighter was injured and you, you, you wonder what right away, you know, oh my God, you yep. know, is, it, is it Chris, my son? Yeah, uh, they, uh, God, we tell them both I said thanks because they, they, they don't hear it enough. No, they don't. It, it, it's a very dangerous job. Um, people don't realize it. Go ahead, you can come in and yell at us. <laughs> no, I think people know. I think people know. I think that the, I think we Hello Linda. They don't care. I think I you know, I just think that people are so self-involved now that they they just don't pay attention to People are probably wondering why we're laughing. I'm sorry. We, we we have Megan here at Town Grill and Pub looking like Kilroy was here looking over the sign. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um, let's go on to something different here. We, uh, we, we mentioned the police unity tour, but also back to the county with the public schools. Um, you hear about them all the time. They need to do this. They need to do that. I remember years ago they were talking about uh, uniforms for the schools, and I think a lot of the parents voted for it. Nothing ever happened. Right. Um, so uh, we want to talk about that, your take on that, and also – something that they've been talking about and hopefully it will happen is junior ROTC program which I don't understand why Hartford County Public Schools never had being right here at APG I know I yeah so, no I have no idea which of course goes back to the uniforms well that would be military uniforms but still right. I mean, um, have you guys ever seen anything any schools where uniforms make a difference or even junior ROTC programs I don't have experience with the junior, uh, the junior ROTC. Um, I mean, I went to, I went to private school. Private school kids, they all wear uniforms. Right. I've never, I have never seen a public school that wears uniforms. But I will tell you, I have kids that are ten and eight. My daughter is ten. My son is eight, and I have more issues with my eight-year-old and his clothes than I do with the ten-year-old. Well, she's a, she's a different, <laughs> she's a different kid. You know, she's she likes what she likes. She does what she does, and she honestly to her core does not care what you think have to say you know she does what she is going to do right my son on the other hand is eight and extremely impressionable and he wants everything to be under armor nike <laughs> mm -hmm. you know usually it's the other way around it seems <laughs> yep. like he he wanted a pair of jordan tennis shoes now this kid is incredibly tough on shoes clothes everything and in eight general. years old and he's eight years old Wow. So that's what he got for his birthday were these Jordan shoes because I'm not going out because it's Tuesday and buying you these shoes. But he had to but he had to have them because all of his friends have them. <laughs> well, then he got them, and now he's coming home and saying, well, my friends are saying that they're not real ones, that they didn't cost this oh, much money geez. or this much, whatever. And I'm like, y you do realize that that is how much I paid for them, right? Like, And you don't <laughs> owe your friends an explanation. This is craziness. But maybe if we all dressed alike and you actually had to wear your pants up on your hips and you had to wear dress shoes instead of, you know, the latest right. pair of Jordans, perhaps we could, like, actually focus on schoolwork instead of what's going on with so-and-so's ensemble exactly. for the day. Like, I mean, it's crazy. And that's one of the things I tell my, my daughters in middle school be going to high school next year. And it seems like middle school starts the drama. Oh. And I tell her, you know, well, you're in school to learn. Treat school like a job. You're there to do something. Don't worry about. You shouldn't be talking during class, anyways, to your friends. Right. You know, but uh, it's now I know PG County schools, and I, 
I used to service computers down there. They had uniforms in junior ROTC programs. And it's amazing how much better those kids were. Um, you, the, the grades went right. up. It, it's, it makes, a, I think it makes a big difference. It does make a big difference. And I mentioned my older son, Chris, uh, uh, a little bit earlier. He was in the junior ROTC program in Kenwood, uh, where he went to high school, right, uh, right over here. And um, it, it was an incredible experience for him. Okay, he, 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 since he was a young kid, he was interested in becoming a, a fireman, and that's not an easy feat. Okay, right. you know, it, for any anything that you you do, you need to work hard for it. Um, but he joined the R, uh, the junior ROTC program, and he was uh, it, it helped him with the discipline, and yeah. uh, yes. you know, he went he went on to to, to go into the the National Guard Reserve, and oh, from awesome. from there he. It was an easy step for him to get into the, the, the Baltimore City Fire Academy because he had that experience. Right. But, but to see the difference before his uh, junior ROTC program and afterwards was incredible. Uh, he, he, he stood up taller and he was, uh, he was more professional and his grades improved. Not that he was ever a bad kid, but his more grades... More respectful too, I'm sure. E exactly. And it, it's, it, it was an incredibly positive experience if, you know when you're 15 right. years old and you're, you're, you're I think it's great I would I would definitely my son is a is a free spirit of his own and his goal in life is just to entertain everyone he right. just thinks that the world is a giant party for him and <laughs> you know he's there both of them are in mixed martial arts well it's really taken hold on my daughter he's still like oh I'm going to socialize I'm going to fool with this person while I'm doing this and that and whatever and, um, and my husband was giving him a hard time the other day saying he was going to send him away to a military school and whatever so I mean if I don't have to send my kid away if he can just go to the junior ROTC program locally <laughs> that would be great because I, I just I, he definitely oh, Chris, needs to be like the zoned in to the Marine Corps military academy <laughs> oh, I don't know he's looking at he, there was one in California or something it's like kindergarten through you know high school and he, and he's reading all this stuff out, and my son's like, yep, I'll go, I'll do it. And I'm like, you're not, no, you're, you're eight and not going to California. So that's you know what, actually, come, you mentioned that, but why don't you guys look into getting him involved with the Young Marines? I don't know if he's old enough yet, but Harford County does have what's called the Young Marines. Which is almost like Boy Scouts or whatever. Um, and I, I believe they are hosted by the Marine Corps League Detachment out of Jarrettsville. Okay. Um, I know... Pat Daly was involved with them, and I believe both of his sons, Brian and Tyler, may have gone through it. Um, okay, I'm interesting. Sure, they, I mean, they do the camping and everything. It's like, it's not like being in the Marine Corps. Right. They're not getting right. all that or anything right. like that. <laughs> uh, but it does actually teach them respect, discipline, and everything. It, it makes a big difference. I think the schools, high schools especially, I really do think it should start back in middle school, but high schools especially, I think they do need to have a program because – Let's be on, you know. Let's be honest. Let's talk about those Route 40 schools, okay? Right. You're 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 talking a lot of in, in Harford County. That's where a lot of your lower income mm -hmm. folks are living on that corridor, right? They're going to those Route 40 schools, the ones that nobody likes to talk about or go to or what you know, whatever. But I mean, which is sad because nobody's dealing with it and nobody's going to the schools and nobody's you know doing it. A lot of these kids don't have any kind of future or they don't think they have a future right. right not that they don't but they they don't think that they do and they're not putting in any kind of work to make sure that they do and i really feel like if they had a, a had this program established that you could really really get these kids in, involved and they can have a future be it in the military or the, being a fireman or going to the police academy or whatever all of these things that they would not necessarily think that they could do because they're not given the opportunity and, and not, not just that it also you know, gets them better for everyday life after school so oh, even for if sure. they don't go keep them out of the trouble yeah right. i mean that, that's the big thing there too and one of the things i i think um down here joppatan joppatan high school i think um they they are starting a scholarship now um which of course will be given to somebody from joppatan high school and, and Pat Daly's name for if they kids want to go into the police academy or in for firefighting or whatever, uh, because with Job Ten having the Homeland Security program. Yeah. Uh, so I mean that's at least you know they're 
going the right way, trying to help these kids. And you get the recruiters still going in there talking, but yeah, it's not the same. You, they no. need something like and, that. And Joppa Town High School over here does have the, the Homeland Security right. Program, like you mentioned. And that's the organization that now runs the JR OTC. Right. So it's, it's, it's a small step. To, yeah. to create that program, you, you're already just you're already most funding, of the way there. It. That's right. Yeah, yeah I, I think right now funding's on hold for any junior ROTC programs, but that could open up within a year, within three years. You never know. So start. Well, let's start see if we get a Republican now. president in office, and we'll see how much that funding <laughs> is released. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hopefully, that could change everything. I probably um, just lost myself some business. My nah. but, you know, that's you know, we we need to put more money into our military programs. Bottom line, whether whether it's programs for vets or it's programs for kids or whatever, like you, you just it, it boggles my mind that we can't find the money yeah. to do what needs to be done. But that's a whole nother. <laughs> bottom line is we need money for the junior ROTC program. I think it's a great. It would be a great thing to add to the schools for sure. Well, before we wrap it up, you guys have anything you want to add? No, I'm. I'm good. No, tell, Dennis, tell us again, or tell the people again how to get a hold of you to get down to your store, oh, website, and everything. Absolutely, Maryland Computer Store. We're located in the Joptown Plaza Shopping Center. Uh, it's uh, right at the intersection of uh, Joppa Farm Road and Route 40, uh, and we're right there in the plaza. Uh, you can call us 410-679-6000. Go to our website, MarylandComputerStore.com, uh, and. Even if you don't have a computer issue, and we hope you don't, but uh, uh, just stop by and say hi. Or get a flash drive. <laughs> <laughs> we also we, we, we do all types of computer repairs. Uh, we don't just do virus removal. We do uh, uh, laptop screens and uh, hard drive failures, data recovery, uh, you know, anything that has to do with uh, any type of computer. Uh, we, we can take care of it. We're also doing PlayStations and Xboxes now as well. Oh, what? Good to know. We are repairing Xboxes and PlayStations. Wish I would have known that a while That's ago. That's great. I gotta tell you, my, we just got my son a, a, Santa got my son a PlayStation for Christmas, and it, that is so past. Like my my husband's like, what happened to Nintendo? Like I, I stuck the thing in there, you close it, and then it works. PlayStation is so far Nintendo, beyond what our to a Tory. <laughs> Okay, well you know, I thought maybe the audience would be able to relate to Nintendo over Atari. <laughs> yeah, I'm showing my age now. Sarah, how can people get a hold of you again so they can get their landscaping and everything done? They can go to the website, <laughs> www.fourseasonslandscapemd.com. You can send us an email, fourseasonslandscapemd at gmail.com. Or you can call the office, 443-807-9815. Well, I want to thank you both again. And uh, yeah, if anybody has any ideas or if you would like to be on the show, contact me. Go to HartfordCountyLiving.com. All the information is right there. Um, we welcome any business to come on. And no, you do not have to pay. We do not charge you. The whole thing is to get your name out there, provided you are a local business, of course. So um, if you, even if, as a guest, if you just live here in the county, you want to talk about something, you're more than welcome to come on. So. Um, contact us and we'll be sure to get you on and we'll see you next or talk to you next time. Thanks, Rich. Thank you, Rich. I want to share an amazing experience I had with Tar Hill Construction Group when I needed to install a new roof on my home. Let me tell you, they are truly a cut above the rest. Tar Hill Construction Group is an award winning residential and commercial roofing and exteriors contractor focusing on roofing, siding, gutters, and solar solutions. Proudly serving Baltimore, Hartford, and Cecil counties, they make it their priority to make a positive impact in the communities they serve first while providing exceptional services in roofing and exteriors. From start to finish, Tar Heel Construction Group proved to be a reputable and dependable contracted solution. Their quality installations and good communication kept me informed and reassured throughout the entire process. It's no wonder they have been voted Harford's Best Roofing Contractor and Best Home Improvement Contractor for three years running. But here's what really impressed me. Tar Heel Construction Group's commitment to continued service and registered warranties. They stand behind their work, ensuring that I have peace of mind for years to come. What's even more remarkable is their dedication to giving back to the community. They aggressively 
support, and uplift the neighborhoods they serve, making a positive difference in people's lives. I feel incredibly grateful and humbled to have chosen Tar Hill Construction Group for my roof. They have earned my trust and respect for being the only contractor to be voted Harford's best roofing contractor and Baltimore's best roofing contractor in the same year. So if you're looking for top-notch roofing and exterior solutions, look no further than Tar Hill Construction Group. Visit their website at tarhillconstructiongroup.com or give them a call at 410-638-7021. Again, that's 410-638-7021. Experience the excellence and community impact for yourself. Tar Hill Construction Group, building excellence one roof at a time. 